risk on. This is how markets feel today. We'll talk about crypto soon, but already in the traditional space, you can see important moves. With the Trump administration going back on some of the attacks it had against the election process, markets were essentially bolstered by the idea of a smooth transition. It's worth noting, though, that Trump has not conceded the election yet, but it's just a, a positive note. On a more negative note, it's worth noting that COVID cases are still having a very direct and strong impact on the US, but also globally. Um, so why are markets going up? Essentially because there's not much else you can do with cash, so you might as well invest it. The Dow reached an iconic and all-time high of 30,000. The Russell 2000 rose 2%. The S&P rose over 1.5%. And then in a classical risk on move, treasuries were sold up, so pushing the 10-year yield at around 0.88%. Gold, unfortunately, did not benefit and fell another 1.5%, continuing a descent now at $1,800. Crypto did benefit, though. So Bitcoin rose almost 6% intraday, but closing 4% up on the session, currently at 19130 We're 5% away from 20k, the, the all-time high. At this point, it feels like we'll have to retest those all-time high. And the trend started early October and leading to today is impressive, it's steady, and it's strong. Naturally, personally, as a contrarian, I'm also very wary of a, a short-term reversal, and the enthusiasm and the leverage on exchange transactions seems to hint that some market players might play around and push things down. By the way, did you see the volume on Bitcoin futures aggregated, so across all exchanges? It just reached an all-time high, well above 500 billion US dollar. That's a, a lot of money going on there. Alts are also uh, feeling the enthusiasm. <clears throat> Not that the last session was actually great. We definitely underperformed versus Bitcoin and we're actually closing flat in USD term. Uh, but I'm talking about the general enthusiasm spreading across social media uh, and people reaching out. There's plenty of room for people to add more uh, to their allocation and for us to hit all-time highs, which are still far when you're looking at odds. So Ethereum is closing essentially flat, but holding on to $600. Just a few days ago, people were asking if we could break the 480 resistance. It seems we have. Stellar pumped another 45% on the session, which is just massive. Uh, Cardano was up 7% on the session, following a torrid ramp up in the previous days. Even BNB is making a comeback, uh, just above 33%. And then you can see Bitcoin Cash, Ripple, Dash also up on the session. And then Litecoin and Link, which are still large market cap, up but not uh, by that much. On a more fundamental news, there's Pendel Group, a large fund in Australia, that now has started to allocate some of its AUM to Bitcoin. Every day you hear someone, uh, whether it's an individual investor on a large scale or, or an institutional investor, adding on Bitcoin to their portfolio. I suspect that this is going to be a snowball that keeps on rolling and keeps on growing to reach massive levels. Of course, that's on a long-term perspective, but just something to keep in mind. That's all for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day.